Good morning, everybody. I've had a number of people ask me to do a snow, sh snow uh, machine video and also what I bring in my snow machine whenever I'm out riding the trails or heading into town. So there's a number of things that you want to keep for safety measures on your machine at all time. And there's a lot of things you can bring. These are just the things that I bring. So the, one of the most important things you can have whenever you're out and about is first of all is a shovel. Always have to have a shovel. The second thing would be a come along. I do not have my come along with me right now. It's being borrowed by a neighbor, but I do have the shovel. So if you crash your machine somewhere or get stuck, at least you can dig yourself out. Another thing that shovel can do is if you're way far away from a house, your home, and your machine dies on you, at least you can build an ice cave to get down in there for the night. Now with that in mind, I want you to start thinking about some of these things that I've brought with me. So one of the first things I always do is I bring a spare belt. If the belt on this thing frays or rips or snaps, I have a spare one. So there's a replacement part for the machine. Also, two brand new spark plugs. So basically the only thing I bring for the machine itself is a brand new belt or spark plugs. That's about the only thing that's going to go wrong with the machine minus you crashing it and snapping something. So those are the two things I keep for the machine. Uh, in another vein, what I also like to pack in here is a hundred feet of rope. And with this, obviously, it has multiple purposes. You can help pull somebody else out. Somebody can pull you out if you get stuck and you can't undig yourself. Rope's just good to have. You can string it up for the night if you get stranded out, create a tarp system, or at least lay some branches against it and then lay some uh, boughs against it to at least protect you from the weather. So always, I keep 100 feet of rope in there. Two small bungee cords. Always good to have, help strap things down in the back. I generally keep these back here in this uh, milk crate. So I'll put those in there. A glow stick. You get trapped out at nighttime, you can't see, you need to work on something. Snap this glow stick, start it up, get in there and see if you can't figure out what's going on or what's wrong. Tin foil. I have got a six foot long piece of tin foil that I fold into, the, fold into a small square. This can be used to signal a plane. It can be used for a number of different things. Generally, I bring this because, worst case scenario, I would use this to signal a plane if it ever came down to that. Matches. A full box of matches. There are two, 300 matches in here. Now, I want to go over this real, real good here. One thing I double down on is my biggest fear is if I'm 30, 40 miles from the house here and this machine just takes a dump, it's gone. Something's broke, something's snapped, I can't get it started. And if I have to stay out in the wilderness during the nighttime, box of matches. Now, one thing you're gonna see is I triple, I quadruple down on being able to make a fire. So, 300 count box of matches. Fourteen packs of little matches. And all of this stuff is placed in little bags. Fire starter sticks. You light that, you can light anything out here if you collect enough wood or branches. A bag of birch bark. Now I think all of you guys understand the importance of birch bark and how easy it is to light a fire with this stuff. Even if this stuff gets absolutely soaking wet, you can dip it in water, shake it off, and you can light it with one match. So I've got about 14 nice strips of birch bark in here. A ferro rod. We all know how to use a ferro rod. Another way to start a fire. Two small candles. Let's just say you get trapped out overnight, you build a little snow cave or something, or you bank up a bunch of snow around a tree. Sometimes psychologically it is really important to have a little light going. If you can't get a fire going for one reason or another, 
And if you can at least get a candle going, psychologically, that may help you. It also may deter animals as well. Lint from your dryer. I've got a full bag of this stuff. One more thing to help ignite a fire that you need to start. So all that lint in your dryer, quit throwing it away. Put it in a little bag and put that in your overnight bag or your carry bag. If you're going out hiking, whatever. It's always good to have. Tape. This is marking tape. This is a 200 foot roll of marking tape. If you get lost, if you're in bad trouble, and you need to start moving in a certain direction, because nine times out of ten, just staying where you are is not going to help your situation. Not to mention, out here in the bush, if you get in trouble and somebody, start, if somebody comes and looks for you, it's going to be a bush plane. If not, the Alaska Troopers on a snow machine. You start leaving trails of this, or wherever your machine dies out on you, place a big giant X with this thing so bush pilots can see no problem. They'll see a big giant X down on the ground against the white snow and they'll start circling and then they'll radio back, yep, we've got a dead machine down there and it looks like we've got tracks heading in a northwest direction. So when you're walking in a northwest direction or whichever direction it is, you start tagging trees. At least they'll know where to go find you if not your trail all the way through the snow. Extra pair of socks. Can't explain how important these are too. These can also be used for gloves. They can also replace the socks that are on your feet if they're wet. So you guys all understand the importance of a pair of socks. A rag. And this is a special rag because this means that you're in real bad trouble. If I'm ever 30, 40 miles from the house or if I'm on a back trail somewhere and the machine dies on me and I'm in dire consequences if I need to be rescued first thing I'm gonna do open up the gas cap soak this down in there leave some of it hanging out and light it light your machine on fire this whole thing is plastic this seat is styrofoam the black smoke that this would put up in the air a bush pilot would be able to see that from 10 miles away now, granted, if there's, a snow, if there's a storm blowing in, not so much, but once again, you do things the best you can at the time. But that's what this rag is for, to put down in my gas tank and to light it. And then to also light the seat. I would take a knife, cut the seat open, drip this down in there, wring it out on the seat inside the styrofoam, light the styrofoam, stick this back in here, light this Trust me, your machine's going to go up in flames. And that's exactly what you want. You want black smoke billowing in the air if somebody's looking for you. Even if somebody's not looking for you, a huge giant cloud of black smoke coming up out in the Alaskan bush, if there's a pilot within 15 miles, they'll see that and they'll report that. So it is an extra safety measure. That's why I've got this little rag in here. Three granola bars. Now, I think we all understand what that's for. If you're starving, if you're out there, if you're stuck, there you go. At least you got a day, day and a half of calories. Now, these are only 160 calories per bar, but you know what? It's better than eating bark, and it's better than eating snow. A small little blanket, and where you get these from is airlines. Whenever you fly on a long airline flight, they hand out these blankets. Take one. This can be used for a number of different things. To shield you from weather, to help you build a little tarp system next to a tree, to keep the weather off of you. The shovel, you can bank up a bunch of snow, put this over the top. It's just a little blanket, guys. Nothing special about it. Two knives. Obviously, you can cut branches with this. I can cut open my seat with this. They're cutting tools. Just two inches. Real cheap knives. These aren't my good ones. These are cheap as cheap, but when you need something, this is what you got them. About six, six little uh, squares of napkins. Obviously, you can wipe your butt with these. You can wipe your nose with these. You can help start a fire with these. 
So you know all the uses you can use with a napkin. Now all of this stuff gets placed in plastic bags to absolutely keep it dry. So when I'm done with this uh, video, I'll put all this stuff back in the plastic bags. I've got big ones and I've got small ones. I put all this back in plastic bags. And where all this stuff goes, Right here under your seat. So I'm going to put all this stuff back in plastic bags, jam it in here, good to go. So guys, that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, I did have a few people ask me about when I'm out riding around and whatnot, what do I have for safety? Well, this is what I carry with me. It's for emergencies. I also always have a small pair of gloves on here. But another thing is when I'm out riding, I have my big thick gloves. So the one thing I didn't add was my secondary pair of gloves. Also, if you're out riding, you've obviously got warm gear on head to toe. So at least you're giving yourself a better chance than not having this stuff. All right, guys. So I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more of these, please leave some comments down below. Hope you guys are having a great day. Take care from the Alaskan Outback.